Angeles. Regis Progre versus Tyrone McKenna. Just bring you guys a uh, quick post fight thoughts video on this fight. Um, to those who don't know, they recently fought over uh, the weekend over in Dubai in the UAE. Fight lasted two rounds with Regis Progre winning the fight by TKO. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. And please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, so yeah. Uh, easy win. Honestly, it was an easy win for Regis Progre. Uh, Progre showed why there are levels in the sport of boxing. And Progre is levels ahead. The head movement, the shot selection. Um, he broke apart Tyrone McKenna. Uh, dropping him early on in the fight, causing a cut on his face, which eventually led to the stoppage. It was all Regis Progre. Regis Progre went out there and just totally outclassed McKenna and uh, won the fight by stoppage. Um, McKenna wanted this, man. This is what he wanted. This is what he gets for calling calling out <laughs> Regis Progre. And, uh, you know, Progre put on a beating on him. So anyway, with this win, Regis Progre improves to 27-1. and 1. 23 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. One and only loss came from Josh Taylor a few years ago. Since then, Progre has only been fighting once a year. Uh, hopefully, this won't be his only fight this year. Hopefully, he fights more than this fight. That's the hope. I mean, that's the reason why you signed with Probel and Promotions, right, Regis? So that you could stay busy. Hopefully, uh, Reg hopefully um, Probel and Promotions can keep Regis Progre busy this year 2022 delivering at least two more fights before the end of the year hopefully that's what I'm hoping for uh, Regis Progre will be one day world champion again uh, looking at the division you know Progre is still up there in the rankings uh, eventually Josh Taylor will move up in weight to 147 and all these belts will be vacated Regis Progre is one or two fights away from being pretty much the mandatory for any of these belts and I think he will be world champion. It doesn't matter what belt it will be. Um, you know, I, I, I favor Regis Progre pretty much beating everybody right now. Uh, except for Josh Taylor. Um, and maybe Jack Catterall. But right now, you know, Progre is up there. Uh, it just sucks that he's been fighting mediocre fights. I mean, let's be honest. Ivan Redcatch, Juan Heraldes. I mean, come on, bro. You're better than this, Regis. You're better than this. You should be fighting the big names. Come on. I mean, I know he's tried. I mean, there were there were rumors of him fighting. I think it was Mikey Garcia. Then there was also um, uh, Adrian Broner. But, you know, it never happened. It never happened. And hopefully those fights can still happen. Why not? And uh, as for Tyron McKenna, suffers his third loss in his pro career. Losing two of his last three fights. Um, you know, props to McKenna for calling out Regis. I mean, he did get the fight. He he eventually got the fight. And, uh, you know, he paid for it. Got stopped. Uh, but good effort from McKenna. Um, but in the end, obviously, Regis was just simply, simply too good. Anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.